Welcome back to Fast Gadget. So today I want to show you how easy it is to use Bluetooth in Fedora Linux. Um, there's many features that can be criticized with Linux, but this isn't one of them. So basically, uh, I'm listening to music, and if I press play, right now I'm using the speaker that's built into the laptop, which uh, this is my Lenovo 2 11.6 inch screen, so the speakers aren't all that good. They really don't go that loud. So what I wanted to do was hook it up to a nice Craig uh, Bluetooth speaker that I have um, in my room. So what I'm going to do, it's really quite simple. All I have to do is a search for Bluetooth. And again, this is Fedora 23 running GNOME and I do a search for Bluetooth click the Bluetooth option turn on Bluetooth it finds my speaker which currently isn't set up but it's available so I click the speaker and I don't know if you were able to hear that but I just got the connected sound so the next thing I need to do is make a change to the sound settings so if I do a search for sound um, I will have the configuration applet so I can make a change to sound settings currently I'm using the built-in speakers front left so right now um, by default the Bluetooth speakers will continue to be used. I actually have to change it to the Bluetooth device when I want to use the Bluetooth device. Now, I do not need to change back. So if I disconnect from Bluetooth, it will automatically go back to the built-in audio. So now I've got the headset. Well, it's not a headset. It's actually a speaker. Let's click test and see what it does. Front, left. Front, right. Okay, hopefully you could hear that. So there is no save or OK like there is in Windows, so I can just go ahead and close this applet. And if I play the music, we should hear it. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and this helps you out with Bluetooth on Fedora Linux. It's really quite simple. Um, keeping in mind, of course, I'm using the uh, GNOME interface, which I prefer. Uh, it is very similar to Mac, um, so if you're a Windows user, you might prefer the KDE Plasma, and that's not too much different. Um, you have the same search options and so on, so um, you can still get to the, the same applets that I did. One, the Bluetooth, and second, um, the uh, sound applet. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and send me a comment if you have something interesting to say, even if you don't. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.